Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain a program for simple calculator using functions. So here in this program I am defining 5 functions. So what are those functions means add operation, add function, subtract operation, sub function, multiplication operation, mult function, division operation, div function and power operation, power function. Okay. So these 5 are the functions. I am taking. So, first uh, here in this function definition x comma y formal parameters I am passing. So, this function is returning x plus y. Okay. Similarly, for subtraction function the function is returning x minus y value. For multiplication function the function is returning x into y. For division function the, the function is returning x by y value. For power function, this function is returning x, power is nothing but exponential operation, right? So, this is a double star, it is called as exponential operator. So, that power function is returning x exponential value of y, okay? x exponential operator value of y. So, after defining all these 5 functions, within the main menu, here I am taking a main menu function. So, here I am entering the operations. So, add operation, subtraction operation, all these operations. So, here I have taken a variable choice variable. So, here the choice that means which operation the user has to perform that choice has to be entered by the user during runtime. So, by using input function we can ask the user to enter the choice. As always input function returns a string value here I have taken int value to perform type casting operation. So, the string value is converted now to integer data type. Okay. So, see here after that here I am using a if fairly fails conditions because I have to check for multiple conditions. Right. So, that is why if choice equal to 1 means then if choice or equal to 1 means then the n1, n2 values here n1, n2 are nothing but here I am taking a as an a, these two see n1, n2 these are called as actual arguments and here I am making a function call add function call. Okay. So, always in the function call we have to pass actual parameters. So, those n1, n2 values are also okay for which operations they have to perform that means for which values they have to perform the operation those values are to be entered by the user during runtime by using input function. Okay. So, here n1, n2 values will be entered by the user. So, for those two values we have to perform the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and exponential power operations. Okay. So, for all these 5 operations I have used if, elif, else statements. Okay. So, here print sum of two numbers is here function call. This is function call add of n1 comma n2. After this again after performing this operation again I have to ask for the menu. That is why here I called the function. I made a function called main menu. Okay. Similarly, elif, elif for choice, choice equal to 2. That means, choice equal to 2 means here I have to perform subtraction operation. Choice equal to 3 means multiplication operation. Okay. Choice equal to 4 means division operation. And choice equal to 5 means power operation. Okay. So, for each and every operation, after performing each and every operation, I have to I have to display the menu that is why here I am calling main menu function for each and every for each and every block in each and every block I am calling main menu function once this operation is performed addition operation is performed again I have to go to the main menu so that the user will enter the choice and that operation again it has to go to that choice and it has to perform that operation that is why here I am using main menu if choice is not equal to any of this five okay then what happens it has to go to the else statement and it has to print that it is an invalid option try again this uh, string value this uh, string will be printed on the output screen okay if choice equal to 1 addition if choice equal to 2 subtraction if choice equal to 3 multiplication if choice equal to 4 division if choice equal to 5 power operation as i have multiple operations multiple conditions uh, that means multiple options i have I am using if, elif, else statements, right? So, once after performing all these operations, again I have to ask for the main menu, okay? So, that, that this is my program. So, let me execute the code. Now, let me run the code. So, go to run, 
run module so here it has entered the menu enter the operation to perform here enter the choice choice has to be entered by the user here i am entering one okay enter so enter the first number one enter the second number two so sum of two numbers is three here again i am going to enter choice two that is a subtraction right choice two is subtraction four first number is four second number is two four minus two is two next enter the choice three third choice is multiplication right enter first number two second number is three two into three is six enter the choice four that is a division enter the first number two second number one two by one is 2.0 as always uh, division returns a floating point number 2.0 is the output right so enter the choice 5 5 is will check for power op power function right that is power operation so enter the first number 2 enter the second number 3 2 cube 2 cube is uh, power is always exponential operator right 2 cube that is 8 right next if i enter the choice 6 enter the choice if i enter the value 6 see it says invalid option try again okay so this is a simple calculator program okay this is a program to perform a simple calculator thank you